extreme fashion and the incredible lengths some women go to to keep up with the latest trends. But our next guests are taking fashion back 150 years to the age of corsets. And you have to see what it's done to their waistlines to believe it. Come on out here, Kathy and Melanie. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you guys mind standing while I talk to you just so we can continue to see your waists? Stand up because you want to see that. Oh my gosh. All right, Kathy, your waist is so tiny. How, how many inches around is your waist? Uh, my corsets are 15 inches, but that, uh, that's a measurement inside the corset. So the over clothes or anything over the top will measure closer to 18 inches. So. All right, so, oh my gosh. And Melanie, how big is yours? I lace down to 22 inches. And I've been wearing corsets since 1997. Uh, um, I can lace smaller, but I like to embrace the hourglass figure. You're a moderate corsetter. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, Kathy, have you had any ribs removed? No. So you have all your ribs in there? Yes, I have. Really? Uh, and and is, there any, is there any pain involved? No, there's no pain at all involved if you do it very gradually. And I've been wearing a corset, well, on and off for 50 years and uh, full time now for 25 years. So. For full time meaning like you sleep in it? 24-7, yes. <laughs> wow. And why did you start wearing corsets? Uh, we're interested in Victorian costuming, which is the reason for the Victorian dressing gown. Yes. And in order for Victorian fashions to look appropriate, you have to have the proper underwear. So I started wearing a corset to make the yes. Victorian clothes look appropriate. And I understand that you had two C-sections and no stomach muscles. That's true. And, and that, that made you... Well, that uh, when you get to be in your 40s, that makes your, lets your figure go a little bit downhill. So uh, at that point, you need any help you can get. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's two of you. I feel like I'm in a magic show and there's a top part and then there's a bottom part <laughs> and there's no middle part. All right. So, so I understand that you were inspired by a, a certain country western singer. Yes. Who's that? I love Dolly Parton. Dolly uh, Parton. Yes. Yeah. So, I was told that Dolly Parton wears corsets, so that became quite a fascination but for is me. But is Dolly about a corset or is it about this being so much that this looks little? Well, when you, when you reduce your waist, the bust looks bigger. Looks Everything bigger. looks nice and proportional. Wow. So. Okay. And, and Kathy, the Guinness Book of World Records uh, contacted you? They did. We, uh, uh, pers they pursued us for a year or so, but we uh, weren't terribly anxious to get involved with them because obviously they have a lot of uh, funky, weird things too, oh, and we didn't want. Uh, but that's we didn't considered a little seen, bit funky We didn't too, want to no? be seen in that light. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's not where we're coming from, though. We're Got it. Interested in the Victorian. You know, I wore I wore a corset on this show actually, and I felt like I was lightheaded. There was a show we did for a top model, and I don't know why, y'all. I put on a corset, and I looked a, a, like a fool. I don't know why I had it on. But I got lightheaded. Do you, well, do you ever you, feel faint? If you do it suddenly, and you're not used to it, you yes. will. And uh, I reduced my waist over a period of 25 years. Yes, and I so did it in a course of two minutes. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. Can you take off your, your wrap? Can you drop that? Oh. Can you turn around? I can. Oh my gosh. And I'm this, sure you're used to this is one of Melanie's creations, so I want you all to know that. She, oh. Thank she you. is a... So you're a designer. Okay. So she's Kathy, a perfectionist. <laughs> she's a perfectionist in recreating the Victorian image, and she made this specially yes. for me, and I was... But in Victorian really days, they weren't that small, right? I don't... I don't oh, yes. Well, they, they went, ran the gamut. Yeah. But, but they it were was all the time, so maybe they were that small. Well, oh, help me, darling. You know, <laughs> all that, right? All right, so your husband, 
is, is, where is he in the audience? He's in the audience. Where is he? There you are. Stand on up. Stand on up. This is Kathy's husband. And but you have to tell us what you do for a living. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. He's an orthopedic surgeon. So, and everybody's going, how can an orthopedic surgeon say that it's okay for his wife to do that to her stomach, her spine? How can you let that happen? How can you let that happen? How can you let that happen? <laughs> well, really nothing, if you look at it, nothing changes differently than it really does in nine months of pregnancy. Things are displaced, but for a different reason. But with nine months of pregnancy, then it goes back after nine months, the baby comes out. Correct. <laughs> Until right. the next one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but anyway, there are things that are shifted around a bit. Mostly. Wait, where's your stomach? Well, the stomach is still there, but the stomach is normally filled with a lot of air. Uh-huh. So when you wear a corset, it has less air in the intestine likewise. Where's the gallbladder and the spleen? Oh, that's up in the... Okay. But they don't change. Does, does that they, move? Does it go other places? Not really. They stay pretty much in the same place. Really? They do. You eat less at one time, uh -huh. but you eat the same in the course of the day, but you don't eat big meals. Okay. And you tell your patients what? In what respect? The ones that have like <laughs> back problems. I've heard that you give as them As far as advice. a back, uh, it preserves the spine, it preserves the posture, and it preserves a lot of the female attributes that uh, you were when you were 20. But so if she takes it off and walks around, will she like... No, not really. That's, that's always been implied that, yeah. uh, oh my God, you know, your muscles aren't being used, you take it off, and it, everything's going to fall apart. Uh, that's been really oversubscribed. There so is some happen. truth to it in a younger person, but once you get older, to maintain muscle power, and after you've had a couple of C-sections, I mean, forget it. So, so you, you've actually documented this, her, the process. Degrees, correct. So you brought some x-rays. Can you tell us what we're looking at with these x-rays? What is this x-ray? Basically, this is an x-ray of her torso prior to corseting. This just happened to be happenstance. It was done for a different reason at the time, but going okay. back, uh, it was done to uh, look at the chest at the time. But okay, so this is, this is no corset. Okay, no let's corset. see it with, after all the years of corseting. <gasps> you get a little bit of an idea. Of course, the, the stays, the metal pieces the, uh, that you see, that are very obvious on the x-ray is the corset yes and the upper part of the body is out of the corset so most of the whole chest cavity is out of the corset okay the whole body is not contained do you find this sexy extremely <laughs> extremely <laughs> extremely okay thank you so much you would look good in a corset oh but they make me feel like i'm gonna pass out thank you guys so much we'll be right back up next american bridal i'm gonna get my dress today and that's